Today's top stories. French Foreign Minister Bernard Kushner said today that the European Union is considering passing sanctions against Russia for its refusal to pull back troops in Georgia and its recognition of the independence of two Georgian breakaway regions. France, currently the head of the European Union presidency, has called a meeting of EU leaders on Monday to discuss the Georgian crisis. But Kushner stressed that France itself was not pressing for sanctions. He said, quote, I am not proposing them, adding, certain countries have already asked that sanctions be imposed. Russia's foreign minister, Sergei Lavrov, immediately dismissed the talk of sanctions, calling it a, quote, demonstration of complete confusion. Delaware Senator Joseph Biden officially accepted the Democratic Party's nomination for vice president and denounced the Republicans, quote, catastrophic foreign policy last night at the Democratic National Convention in Denver, Colorado. Biden praised the war record of Republican candidate for president John McCain, but linked him with the failures of President Bush's administration, particularly regarding the war in Iraq. Biden said, quote, The Bush-McCain foreign policy has dug us into a very deep hole, with very few friends to help us climb out. On the other hand, Biden praised his running mate for a fresh approach in dealing with rogue states such as Iran, asking, quote, Should we trust John McCain's judgment when he rejected talking with Iran, and then asked, what is there to talk about? Our Barack Obama, who said we must talk and make it clear to Iran that its conduct must change. French President Nicolas Sarkozy today said that sanctions against Iran should increase if Tehran refuses to change its current position on its controversial nuclear program, but added that diplomatic efforts should continue. Sarkozy said in Paris today, quote, Everybody knows the disastrous alternatives which the world faces. What I summarized in a few words last year, an Iranian bomb or bombing Iran. Nobody wants it to arrive at that catastrophe. He added, quote, in facing Iran, which has failed to give an answer, the 5 plus 1 must increase sanctions in all fields. Five individuals, including one woman, were hanged yesterday in Tehran's Evin prison, while another man was executed today in Iran's northern Semnan province, drawing international condemnation. The five individuals hanged in Evin prison were convicted of murder, while the man hanged in Semnan, identified as Mohammad Hassan B, was convicted of drug trafficking. The European Union and international human rights groups have expressed concern over what they say is the high application of the death penalty in Iran and have called for abolition of the practice. Iran has dismissed these criticisms in the past, saying that it is implementing Islamic Sharia law. These stories and more at iranvnc.com.